Well, I'm going to terminate this video with a sort of kaleidoscope uh, of the research papers and testimonials to give you an idea that there is a problem. And you will not know how bad it's going to affect you if there's a wind farm within a few miles of you until it's up. Wind farm ILFN was found to exceed the audibility threshold at distances up to four kilometres from the wind farm and to undergo large variations in magnitude with time. That was 2016. Near threshold infrasound involves the activation of brain areas which are known to play a crucial role in the emotional and autonomic um, control of potential link between uh, infrasound induced changes of brain activity and the emergence of various psychological as well as physiological health effects can be established. NASA Langley Research Center, I quote, infrasound propagates hundreds of miles and can penetrate walls, mountains and other obstacles without loss. Ear pain, pressure, headaches, dizziness, failure to sleep, chest pressure, chest pain. There's just a litany of symptoms that are universal, i.e. they're not just here in Shirley Wynn, they're all over the world. This is Robert W. Rand, a sound expert. As far as wind turbines, I've been looking at those since 2009, and I am sensitive to motion sickness. I get motion sickness on boats, and I've experienced motion sickness at several wind turbine facilities. Uh, two in particular I stayed overnight at, Falmouth and Shirley. I'm going to talk about those later. Uh, at Falmouth, I had about seven weeks to recover. After that study, I had to get special glasses. I lost sight in one eye for about a week. Um, and I experienced something called spatial disorientation, uh, and so did my colleague, Steve Ambrose, where we thought, so if you look at the world and you say, I'm looking at something, let's say I'm looking at the P in professional, well, my brain would say, well, that P is actually up there. If you could look fast enough, it would be up there. Unfortunately, mankind is not alone from suffering from infrasound. The poor whales that use it to communicate um, must suffer terribly. They have huge cavities in their head for the purpose of transmitting and receiving sounds. So that will be a future video, but it won't be confined to just whales. It'll consider the effects in our oceans as a whole.